Willkommen, bienvenue and welcome to you my Floss Tube friends. My name is Ashley, aka Yastitch. I thank you. And welcome to my Floss Tube channel where I discuss my cross stitch and anything else that forms inside my head and decides to fall out of my mouth. It's very important that you guys need to know hence why it's up on my Floss Tubes. So, uh, if you are a new viewer, welcome, come in, sit down, get comfy. It's going to be a fun ride. Uh, if you're a returning viewer, Floss Tube fam, appreciate it, love you so much, thanks for coming back and again joining me on the madness and chaos that is Yastitch. Mm. I'd like to start off with a massive sorry to everyone who's been waiting for the video, it is over 10 days since it was due out um, and there is a reason behind it, reason being injury. <laughs> oh. God, I know, such a drama. Um, so, a couple of weeks back, I decided to stand up off the sofa, you know, just a normal everyday thing. I stood up, I heard crunch, thought, oh, what was that? Then came the agony that told me. I have no idea how standing up made me pull a muscle in my shoulder, but I pulled a muscle in my shoulder and have been physically unable to move for most of the last fortnight. Um, I probably exacerbated it is that the word i did too much but i thought you know just relax sit down so i you know sat down ah 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 just, uh, and continued to stitch for a little bit because you know it's fine you just sat down we're not realizing that the more i'm stitching the more it's aggravating my arm and that probably prolongs the issue um so <clears throat> yeah i've literally like i say been sat down uh -huh, with myself hopped up on tablets to deal with it and deep heat and stuff like that to kind of get rid of it as much as I can baths and ice packs and my other half has been lovely and looking after me as he always is um and so as soon as I felt well enough to do this I mean I couldn't actually lift my arm past there like a couple of days back so I can get it to here now so I can hold stuff I assume you know if not, this is going to be funny and I'll probably just end up like popping and locking. But I just wanted to get on and let you guys know what was going on again, show you my cross stitch. So let's go from here. I'm sorry, there is guilt. Hopefully, it'll be subsided by the end of the recording. But yeah, I'm here. So, in addition to that, uh, what's been going on in my life? Uh, end of last month, uh, we did not decided, we went because we were invited to my other half's cousin's wedding which oh, such a beautiful beautiful day it really was the venue was amazing the bride looked gorgeous proper like gorgeous uh, oops, handsome groomsman as well obviously well done mate eh? the good news to the red dapper um and i say that the, the venue was lovely the the food, the atmosphere, the ambiance, y'all, uh, was, it was amazing, it really, really was, and I say, just lovely time spent with family, that in the time, that we're still kind of in the, we're trying to get through at the moment, it was a lovely ray of sunshine, it really, really is, um, so yeah, it was the most amazing, amazing day, um, on top of which, we came away with a little present. I said, well, I say present, but I'll, I'll explain. So, while we were there, there was a caricaturist there. And this this woman were fabulous, really was. We sat down in this chair, like me and my other half. Now, you're going to get to see my other half now, kind of. Um, but yeah, so this lovely woman, I assume her name is Vix and I'll explain why after um did this photo of me and my other half it was amazing really 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 it was amazing I mean it took literally three minutes bang bomb boom done um so yeah and she was doing that for, literally for anyone just sit down and she was doing it I say no I really really want to big her up because I was so so impressed so I said I hope her name is Vix V-I-X um the website on the card is Vix Caricatures which I will put up here and in the stoobly boobs um stoobly boobs sorry if that offends anyone I don't know why it would I've just made it up um so yeah um but yeah <coughs> if 
you're in the UK, um, in the m middle area. I mean, we're kind of Buckinghamshire, Northamptonshire area. Um, so if you're in there, I don't know if she's just specifically here or if it's a bigger company, but I'll put the information down. But yeah, it's just something that I'd never really thought of before. Brilliant idea. I say lovely, very professional woman who just, yeah, really, really added to the feeling ambiance, as I said, of the party. And yeah, it was just something nice to take away as another little memory. So, fix caricatures, go have a look. In addition to that, I just want to mention as well, not for no big reason, uh, just to say that obviously with it being a wedding, a lot of people took photos and I also took photos. Um, a couple of which uh, look quite good. No, not even filtered either. The sun was really good that day. Um, but you know how every now and again you look at a scene and you go, oh, that's a beautiful photo. That's an amazing picture. That really has caught the moment. And then for people like us, our stitch brain kicks in and goes, yes, I agree. It is amazing. However, don't you feel it should be pixelated and then stitched? Which, yeah, my brain's done that. I mean, I, I'm not going to show the photos, um, but uh, if I decide to turn them into patterns and pictures, I'll show the progress of it. It's just something like I say, since I saw the photos, I was like, yeah, yeah. But as we all know, it's kind of like an eyes are bigger than the, it's not the belly, it's the fingers, the stitchy bug, it's that, but yeah, I just wanted to say that to you guys, you know, just because, again, brain, mouth, ta-da! So that's enough rambling from myself, let's get on into the stitching, because that is why you're here. So, let's start with... Um, like, basically, finally fudging, finished projects um objects even sorry yeah anyway um i the one for my friend the nemo piece um it was all done it was all framed uh, it was handed over and appreciatively received and is now as i've seen currently hanging in the front room pride of place i'll thank you um but yeah i was just glad to again like i say get it to my friend who, from what I can tell, really does enjoy it. If not, you're a great actress. Seriously, girl. What is going on with my voice today? I, it's, <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, uh, we finished that, we framed it. Um, let's throw a picture of it in. Yeah. The other f f f f f f f f f that I've got uh, was the one I did for my sister, which I showed completed last time. Well, I say completed. Um, a few people mentioned after I'd shown it that it's not grammatically correct because the pretentious comma, the apostrophe, shouldn't be in there because it doesn't actually work. So I took heed of that because I'm the kind of person that if I'm on social media and I see someone hasn't used the right lettering or that, not that I'll poke post it up but you know well, originally I would because I couldn't help myself but now I'm more of a oh look yeah I'll keep it inside because there are enough people out there that are doing that so um but yeah um a pro pro of that um I did go back and change it to what it originally should have looked like I then framed it and took it to my sister handed it over um she said she was gonna hang it in the kitchen I don't know if she's hung it in the kitchen yet but she might have she may have she might not have um but Let's show you what that looked like. <laughs> so yeah, um, all guilt of gifts currently gone because they have been given. Um, obviously, as we're all aware, I do have future gifts coming up for people. Um, but we will talk more about that right now. So, over the past month, um, I have made a decision. Now, with the gifts that I've done for my sister and my friend, um, I put a lot of pressure on myself to get those out. And it almost came to a point where I nearly lost the stitchy bug because, as I've always said, this is my hobby. I want to enjoy it. That's the way it should be. And it was getting a bit close to the edge with it. So... I know I've got the piece for my niece and my friend, um, the Emma Congdon pieces that I'm going to be doing. Um, however, I made the decision that 
I'll be picking those back up in the new year because once I start on them, I know I'm going to start putting my pressure, myself pressure on them because when I gave the one to my sister, my niece looked a little bit, oh, okay, and she knows she's got one coming, and I know as soon as I start, I'm going to want to be like, get it, get it done, but like I said, I want to enjoy this. So what I decided was they'll be next year, and I'll be concentrating for the rest of this year on what were originally my unshowable whips, um, because I really, really, really enjoy stitching on them and I say I want to kind of make them a focus because they were like I say the additional bits that I got as I said videos back to put up and show you guys because I like them and they are me so yeah that's that's going to be kind of that's a little bit of plans going forward there isn't it but that's what's happening with that with all that said let's move on into the whips um the first one I'm going to show is my Ancient World Map by John Speed, the original artist. And, yeah, let's show you what it looked like, what it will look like when it's finished. Let's show you what it looked like last time that you saw it. And here is what it looks like now. Now some of you can tell that I've done those lovely squares down the outside and I've filled in some of the um, sea border on the opposite globe. Uh, but the main job that I did on this was a lot of the around the outside border. So like along, along here, God reflection helps. Uh, was only stitched like once so I went back and made the crosses on them so that was kind of an easy-ish stitch to do there's still some that needs doing but you can't really tell from that far away and the lighting's quite crap so I'm really sorry about that it's got to that time of year so yeah but yeah that's my ancient world map which is currently in my rotation hmm. right that's that one so this one um, actually was the one I was working on when I had to give up the ghost. Um, I'd realised I hadn't done much on it and wanted to have something to show and then all oh, hell broke loose. Um, but um, it is one of the fan favourites. So Hank and his harem. Let's show you what it will look like when it's finished. Let's show you it last time you saw it. And this is it now. So, yeah, really not had much done to it at all. Um, try and, let's, let's fold it like this, shall we? Because you don't need to see all of that part, it's just border. Um, but yeah, um, I've mainly done just some more in his poofle and was kind of working a little bit down this side here because I just want to get some more red in there but it was literally the moment that my brain went no you can't continue mate you've really got to stop you're doing yourself damage so I finally gave up but not before getting some poofle in the shoulder yes so that's my current Hank and his hair room hopefully now we're okay uh well Physically, yeah, mentally, it's always questionable. Um, but, yeah, that will now focus. I've just seen a stain on the Ada. <laughs> oh, um, so, world map, 14 count white Ada. Such a shock um, with the floss that came in the bag. And this is a 16 count, don't tell Ashley, um, Zweigar Ada that I have said is parchment because it's old medieval, doesn't really look white um, and I don't actually know what it says, it doesn't say it so 16 count Zweigar Ada in self-proclaimed parchment Up now is another one of my originally unshowable whips uh, Tis the Beautiful Starry Night uh, from the amazing artist Vincent van Gogh or Van, van Gogh if you prefer, either way, Vinny, Uncle Vinny, Vinny VG, you know, dude, yeah. Um, so, without further ado, 
Uh, let's show you what this will look like when it's finished. Let's show you it last time you saw it. And let's show you it now. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. <gasps> I know. I just, I know, I know. So much. I'm so, so happy with the amount of work I put in on this. It, at one point, it's like me and the 310 were one. And we just kept going and kept going. And to a certain extent, it kind of became a little bit of a personal competition to myself. And possibly a little bit sadomasochistic. Oh, that's a bit of an intense word to use. Maybe, yeah, we've said it now. Um, but yeah. Worked really hard on that for Uncle Vinny. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, bring that back. We'll be stitching on that in the month to come. But yeah, um, oh, 14 count white age art with a lot of 310 and some blues and some other colours. Um, excellente. Uh, I was going to say. Just while I've got that there, it's a little bit of a random tangent to go on. However, the Van Gogh piece um, I mentioned originally when I started it, it was because of the Doctor Who part of it. Now, I'm just going to insert some of my geeky chic in his here, and I'm very, very sorry, but if there are some of you guys out there that are watching Doctor Who, the new series, Flux, what are your opinions? Because, don't get me wrong, over the past few years of Doctor Who, I've become less and less enamoured with it, I'm not going to lie, it's, it, don't get me wrong, it's something that's very, very close to my heart, you know, and I really, really have enjoyed parts of it, but it just got to a certain point personal where I felt the, the release schedule of it was affecting the way it was being shown to people, you know, you get previews of this programme and yeah, yeah, the new series coming and then they bring it out in two years and it's like, well, why, what's the point, I understand, you know, you you've got schedules, but anyway, so I kind of, originally wasn't going to watch this season, but whilst I was in my stay, uh, um, I decided to, so I'm so impressed with this season, like properly, my geek, my nerdiness is just palpable when I watch it. It's actually on tonight as well, the next episode. Cannot wait to see what happened. Not going to spoil it if you haven't watched it and you are watching it. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, if anyone is watching it, um, I would try and say spoiler free, but by this point it's going to be out. I mean, if some of you are on Instagram, feel free to DM me about it. But people's opinions on it, um, I'd like to know because I've... My other half is also a Doctor Who fan, but he's just decided he's not watching it. A few of my other friends that like it, some of them think it's amazing. Some of them think it's complete drivel. So, Floss Tube fam, what do you think about this season of Doctor Who Flux? Answers in a postcard, answers in the comments, answers in the DMs. Um, yeah, just, yeah, sorry, nerdy tangent interjection there. Enjoy. <laughs> Coming up next is my life in the countryside, which is the piece I'm doing for my nan, in memory of my nan. Um, kind of as a thank you, because as I've said pre in previous videos, I'm doing this because when I was younger, there was a, a stitching piece that she had done the amazing, and I believe it probably subconsciously what brought me into stitching, which I mean, I'm not mad about that. Um, but, um, before I show this, um, bit of good news, I've been able to procure a picture via my aunt, via my cousin, um, of the original stitching piece that inspired this stitching piece. So, without further ado, Nan Stitching, meet Floss Tube. Saying that, just, yeah, the... That's the piece I remember being up on the wall and just, I would stare at it for ages. Like I say, it's like that Mary Poppins kind of picture. You want to jump in, but you can't. Um, so, from that, uh, I found this piece. So, Life in the Countryside. This is what it will look like when it is finished.
Here's what it looked like last time you saw it. And here is what it looks like now. Nah. Ooh. So, as you can tell, I've done a little bit of the path down in here and we filled in some pop of colour of the car. So, path and car, path and car. But, yeah, I say I got a bit done on this again. Uh, I got sent through the picture from, well, by my aunt. I just, I was like, yeah, I, I need to. I need to put a little bit of time in on that one. So I went in and just thought, I've always thought, do you know what, I'll just do all the leaves first. And then, as you can tell, little bits of filtering in of the house and then of other bits. And it's just going to be what it'll be, really, won't it? But, yeah, that's as far as we've got on that one. beautiful beautiful piece I mean it's kind of like if I was looking at my nan's picture in this direction you could turn down the road and that would be this picture you know kind of thing so yeah um that's my life in the countryside up next is the picture that spawned the nerd herd hashtag hashtag um which um actually before we go on into this um <coughs> I created the nerd herd hashtag for people to put on uh, and news, which I started using and thought, oh, I'll see what other people have done on Instagram. So I clicked it and realised that this hashtag has been around for a while. Like, a proper while. So, I mean, obviously, continue using it. I obviously feel free to, you know, I'm going to. But I don't know whether to maybe update it. So, maybe, like, Stitch Nerd Herd or Nerd Herd Stitch. Or maybe some, maybe some ideas from you guys, you know, because... I'm assuming when people do things like sows and they've got words and they put sow on the end, that's only going to bring up a very specific kind of photo that has been tagged in that. So you guys think of something or maybe even other hashtags to put in, you know, we're all in this together. Um, then, yeah, I'm all is. But moving on, I say the one that spawned all this, the Evolution Pokemon Cross Stitch. So, again, not really a pattern on this, but let's show you what it looked like last time that you saw it. Let's tell you what it looks like now. Nah. So, if any of you can spot the difference straight away, we did the butterflies up there. They're a little bit garish, and I just, in the original picture, they were like white and grey, and I thought, this is no, no girl. We need some colour, we need a top pop. So we put some of those colours in, um, but yeah, the reason the butterflies were chosen is because one of my viewers, um, Danielle, the Cardiff Stitcher, thank you Danielle, suggested and had, st had suggested a couple of times actually. So yeah, I went through and I did the butterflutterbies and now my beautiful picture is nearly complete. So now we've just got ice for Glaceon. And water for Vaporeon, which, little nerdy scientific joke here, but, so, the only answers left we've got are H2, oh my god! Oh, sorry, dad joke, retracting there, but it's part of me, so it's part of you guys now. Um, so yeah, we've got those left. Uh, that's that one, again, still in the rotation, so if you guys... Would prefer me to do one part over the other? Let me know in the comments. Send me messages, smoke signals, carry a pigeon, we're all good. Um, <coughs> okay. So, uh, while I'm on Danielle, the card of Stitcher, um, I want to, well, first and foremost, shout her out a tiny little bit. So I'm kind of, kind of moving to shout outs now. Um, but... Danielle, the Cardiff Stitcher, last month on one of her videos, um, she had a giveaway which I ended because I like to look at the picture. And I don't want to brag, but spoiler, I won. So, um, the piece itself is the Crafty Things Cross Stitch Sampler, which is a kit. It comes with everything inside it. And it looked like this. It's beautiful. I cannot wait to do it. It's going to be probably 
a niece picture or something like that, you know, because it's always going to be a gift. I mean, I may keep it myself, you know, if I ever have kids myself, it might be nice to give them or just stick up on a wall. And I... Ah. Ah. So, real time noticing here. Um... Elephant's not written in. It's not on there. But having just looked under here and opened it up a little bit, elephant's written on the pattern, so it will be in there when it's finished. It's just not on the outside, but yeah. I said I'm very intrigued to look at what a <clears throat> Azurus is. Looks like some kind of squirrel beaver. I'll Google that and have a look at that later. And we'll just see what's going on with that. But yeah, um, that's what I won, which was lovely. It really, really was saying I've been watching Danielle's Floss Tube for a while now. Well, since the beginning. Um, and it's always just something nice to, you know, come and sit down with. She's a wonderful woman who um, puts a lot of heart into her pieces. She really does. But also there's part of her, like myself, that I see it's that gets done it gets done it doesn't it doesn't I'm not gonna fret which I have a kinship with and I say I just I really do enjoy watching Danielle so Danielle the Cardiff Stitcher go give her a look my next shout out is going to be for a gentleman called James James the PH Stitcher who Mentioned to, well, in my last video, um, commented and said, shout me out, which, not that anyone was aware of this, but when I watch people, if I like them, I've got a list in the back of my book that I put names in of people that I'm going to shout out so I don't forget them. And James was up next on the list, so it's kind of a bit of kismet going on there. Maybe he knew, maybe he didn't, but it's all going on. So, James the PH Stitcher has... An abundance of pieces that he is ploughing through. I mean, there's like, there's a Mirabilia. I think there's a few Heaven and Earth. There is some geeky, cheeky stuff in there in the form of some Marvelness that I do marvel at myself. It's so colourful, beautiful. Um, so he's just, yeah, he again is someone that when you get a little notification that comes up, it's bing. Nice. I know what I'm doing this evening. So. James the PH Stitcher, if I haven't done that already, go give him a watch. My other shout out is for a lady that I found recently uh, by the name of Raquel. Um, I found her because when I go looking, my, one of my favourite things to watch on Floss Tubes are whip parades. I just, I cannot get enough of a whip parade. Um, so, you know, I something new to watch and then what i'll do is i'll go in the search put in whip parade sort my filters out to like the most recent because i've watched quite a few of the recent ones um so it's as soon as the new ones come out and then i find people that way and this is how i found raquel um who also oh, is known as mz rocky 1210 mz rocky sorry mz rocky 1210 um she has a few pieces that she's working on. The main one that I'm intrigued on, which surprisingly, is the huge Pokemon piece that she's got going at the moment, which I have as well. I've got the pattern for it. I have none of the floss for it. Um, I plan to get on that next year. I might make that my birthday present to myself because I've got this coming up first. But um, yeah, I asked very nicely because she's doing it 14 count. I said, how big was your piece? that you that you're using uh, let me know so she very kindly responded um which was lovely of her um and yeah i'll see i'll, I'll jump on that but yeah back to her back to her um i say she's got brilliant pieces and also her videos aren't always that long it's like literally like every now and again they're like 10 15 minutes long it's like just when you need that bite-sized snack sit down for a cup of tea and a biscuit and you just need a little bit of a stitch fix i was the that was about to do no let's no um so yeah um raquel at ms rocky 1210 um fabulous girl fabulous uh go give her a watch 
little random tangent moment as well. One of the first people that I ever shouted out, Nisi Lin. It's our hundredth episode this week. I haven't as yet watched it. I am going to dive into it as soon as I finish this video because it deserves to be watched. But Nisi Lin, hundredth video. Well done for the milestone, and I'll be watching very soon. Take care. Now for my last little bit of stitching. Um, now I said I wasn't going to do any more gifts. However. Um, last year, before Christmas, I mentioned to my sister about doing some labels? Tickets? What are they called? Just call them name plates, why not? Um, for the stockings that she's got at home, um, hanging up. And I sort of did them last year and I, I didn't get around to it. And I thought, do you know what? Um, again, before the big war wound of 2021, um... I thought, do you know what, I'll jump into these. So, I she sent me over some pictures and ideas and stuff of, that, of the stockings and stuff. So, this is what I created. Please don't fall apart. <laughs> no such luck, no such luck. So, we've got... Oh, that's... Come on, come up, there you go. So, these are what we've got. This is what I created for them which will, at some point over the next week or so, I'll pop over to my sister's and we'll get those attached to the stockings. Sorry, Rubes. Um, which will get attached to the stockings. Come on, stand up straight, stand up straight, stand up straight. It's, actually, it's not going to be straight, is it, really? Um, so, yeah, this should be fun getting them attached because neither me nor my sister has ever done anything like that before. So I'll show you the after pictures once I've done those. And that'll probably be the next um, episode. But, yeah. That's what I did, and not that you guys need to know, but George is the dog, but deserves the stocking because he's part of the family, Mr. G-Dog. Okay. But yeah. So, that's what I did for them. Um, I hope that comes up nicely. But yeah, that was the final gift of the year that I created. It's actually a gift that's been waiting longer than the two original gifts that I created. So, rambling aside, let's move on, shall we? <laughs> So that's kind of the main bulk of everything out the way. I'm just trying to think if there's anything big else that you guys need to know about. The... <sighs> Girl, okay, now this is going to probably be a very small percentage of people that are watching, if at all. However, UK Drag Race Season 3 crowned its winner. If you haven't watched it, I'm not going to spoil it, but Mom, we salute you. If I'm honest, I would have been happy with any of the top three winning. I really would have. I was rooting for somebody else. But it's fine, we have who we have, and I'm sure she will carry the crown with charisma, uniqueness, nerve and talent as becoming of a queen of herself. But yeah, well done, you deserve it. Next! So finishing off with my plans going forward, I'm just going to be my usual... I'm not calling them unshowable whips anymore because I show them now, so... My whips, my whips is what I'm, I'm working on, not gifts so much. Um, if I do, I might, you never know, never say never. I mean, this is complete chaos, it's what we expect, so it might be a surprise. Um, oh, speaking of surprises, um, I'm going to release my next video around the normal time that I would, so around the 18th, which I believe is a Saturday. Um, so I need to get on some stitching, really, I really do, but hopefully we should be okay. Um, but yeah, I'm going to release that video around the, my usual one around the 18th, that'll be my sixth video. Um, at which point there is a little bit of a theme running through my videos, and if anyone notices what it is, um, it's very, very subtle. But if anyone notices what it is and they want to take a guess and all that, go for it. I mean, I'm not going to say it's going to be a prize, there's not the prize is the glory of winning and working it out. But if someone is fixed on enough, fair enough. Um, but yeah, so I'll release the next one around the 18th. Um, also, I want to throw something else in, um, probably over the Christmas period. I mean, I've finished, my last day is the 20th, and then I'm not back till the next year. Um, so what I'll do is, I, I've had an idea, and I want to throw something together for you guys. It's going to be stitchy, but not stitchy, but stitchy, but not stitchy related. Um, but I've had an idea. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is in case it doesn't come to fruition because it's me, chaos has said. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to put that in there and uh, hopefully that'll be something exciting extra for you guys at the end of the year. Also, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you want. Ta! Okay, so final tangent. 
because it's me. Um, I was wondering, every, everyone when they put this on, I mean, I know we've got a lot of stitches and stuff like that. I'd say a lot of stitches, it's floss tube. <laughs> but everyone seems to kind of have their little niche. And I know as much as I kind of use use the geeky chicness, the nerdiness, and the hashtag nerd herd, which whatevs. Um, I know I use all that. However, everyone seems to have their own little niche and all that. And I was just wondering if there was anything you guys would like me to talk about. I mean, the thing I'm thinking about currently is because my D&D group, we we work on a weekly basis. I mean, and we, we've been playing for over a year and a bit now, and the story's quite intense. I and mean, we're currently in hell attempting to save a city that we sent to hell. Uh, well, not the city, some people that were in the city that probably shouldn't have been in the city. But, you know, it's because of the head of the Sealy Court that they're down there. Um, and we're trying to get people back. But any anyway, anyway, um, I was wondering if maybe you guys might like to know about bits and bobs. I mean, we're not always in hell. We were, we've were only been there for a while and it's because of a relation of one of our characters. Um, but I was just, if anyone was intrigued in the story of what's going on with our characters, I could uh, tell that. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, if there's anything else you guys would like to know, ask just ask me because you know i'm quite happy i'm an open book could talk about books if you want I've, I've read a few books in my time mainly quite a few books but i haven't read in a while i should get back into that anyway you're gonna ramble anyway so guys thank you so much for joining me on this journey it really really is appreciated new old we are all family of the frost tube so yeah um please Take care of yourselves, uh, happy stitching going forwards, and I will see you soon. Uh, than you think, maybe, possibly, probably, uh, around the 18th. Right. Catch you later, guys. Bye!